Jesus. bless your name we bless your name lord we thank you we thank you so much for this uh time that you've given us even the moment that lord we could spend on oh my father just to worship you uh to exalt your name father we say thank you thank you lord for allowing us oh lord that this morning we could tune in and uh, just uh, join uh one another even online just to 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 spend some time oh lord in your presence father we bless your name and we thank you for your faithfulness in jesus name i pray Amen. Amen. Welcome again this uh this morning. Uh it's really beautiful every time uh every morning just to come and uh spend a moment uh with uh, with, with each and every one of us uh though it is an online and we thank you for this uh, we, we thank God for this uh platform that we can actually uh, join though we are part uh far from one another but we are still able to come together and uh and just pray. And uh, we continue to, to, to rejoice as, uh, as, as we continue with this uh, time, uh, uh, the festive season, where we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus. And uh, it's always a, a, a good time that we can spend with our families. And I know sometimes there are some things that, uh, that come our way because life continues, even though it is a festive season. Sometimes you might find yourself in a situation where 
uh, it doesn't somehow like allow you to uh, to be happy and to rejoice like anyone else. But we have the word of God to encourage us this morning that even as we begin this day, it doesn't matter the circumstance, uh, whether you have something uh, nice, what you desired to, to have today, or maybe you, you don't have that thing. But because we have the Lord Jesus, we can still rejoice. And that's why we have come this morning just to encourage uh, one another, to encourage ourselves in the Lord so that every morning, that every day that we, we start and we begin and we live that day, we live knowing that we have our Lord Jesus on our side and he's able to take care of us. So this morning I want to encourage us with uh, uh, the words in the book of 1 Thessalonians uh, 5 uh, verse 16 to 18 and I will read. It says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So the Bible talks about all circumstances and you know, uh, circumstances can be either good or bad circumstances. So it doesn't matter the circumstance, but the Bible tells that we rejoice always and we pray continually. And that's why we are able to meet in a morning like this and continue to pray. It doesn't matter the circumstance that we are in. It doesn't matter what is happening around us, but we can rejoice and we can continually actually uh, pray and to give thanks uh, to him. So God is very, is very faithful. And uh, we are not called to just rejoice when things go well or uh, how we want or expect them to go. There is joy out there waiting for us in every circumstance. The good, the bad, and the ugly, we can take the time to look for it and capture. This is not about ignoring or downplaying the struggles in, in our lives, but experiencing joy isn't about denying uh, that life is hard. Rejoicing always is a joy that is bigger than our circumstances, knowing our beautiful, perfect future in Christ will be wholly fulfilled. That is what gives us joy. And it's not about the circumstances. And therefore, we are going to pray today that God is going to help us, that we will, uh, we will, we will, we will really understand this word and that every time in every circumstance that we find ourselves in, that we shall be able to remember this word that was spoken to the, to, to the, to, to the Thessalonians, that we can actually rejoice and we can give thanks and we can, we can pray in every circumstance. So let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you that, Lord, even in your word, Lord, it is clearly understood that we can be in different circumstances. Sometimes we are in circumstances that bring us uh, happiness, Sometimes we can experience some circumstances that are, are really uh, difficult in our lives. But Lord, your word says that we need to rejoice, we need to be thankful, we need to pray in all uh, circumstances. And therefore today, Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus, that Father, we will be able to rejoice, that Lord, you will help us to be able to rejoice. I know sometimes it's difficult, even when we look at uh, some of the things that uh, maybe our colleagues, our friends, or maybe even a family member is going through, sometimes we wonder if really there's a reason to, 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 to rejoice in this or to be thankful or even to pray. But Lord, we, we make a choice this morning that we will thank you. We will, we will, we will, we will just rejoice. We will pray even in times like, like, like that. And therefore I pray for each and every one of us that even today, that Lord we will be able to remember what your word tells us. In those times when Lord we, are, we, we have a lot of joy in us because we are happy, because things are going on well. Sometimes at those, those moments, sometimes even we can forget to pray. But I want to ask, O oh Lord, today that, Lord, you may help us, that when things are going good, when everything is in line, that we will not uh, forget to pray. We will not forget to give thanks, O oh God. And even those times when the circumstances uh, dictate that we, we will be sad, that we are not able to rejoice, I pray that in those times we will be able to remember that we can give thanks even in such circumstances. So I pray for each and every one of us if there's any brother or sister who is at a place where maybe because of what is happening around them, Lord, they are, they are not even able to remember to give thanks. I pray in the name of Jesus that this morning, even as we come to this de devotion, Lord, and, and pray that, oh Lord, 
you shall rekindle, O my Father, in us, O Lord, the urge to pray, the urge to give thanks, and, and the urge to rejoice, O my Father, in that circumstance that we have found ourselves in. So, Lord, I pray for my dear brothers, I pray for my, my, my sisters, I pray for myself, O God, that this morning, Lord, help us, O Lord, help us to understand your word, help us, O my Father, to go, O my Father, and, and hold on to, into a word like this that was written to the Thessalonians, that we shall hold unto it, O God, and we shall run with it, O Lord, that we will never, never, never be discouraged, that we will never be cast down and feel like we are not able to, 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 to thank you, that we are not able to pray. Father, help us, give us strength, O God, in times, O my Father, of difficulty, give us strength to pray. In times, O my Father, when things are okay, give us, O my Father, strength to pray and to be thankful to you. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Even for you giving us an opportunity, O oh Lord, to come together like this and pray, Father, we say thank you. For the things that, O oh Lord, you have, you, you have given us, you have provided to us, Father, we say thank you. Lord, for the safety that you've given us, the protection that you've given us, we say thank you. For the life, O oh my Father, that you've given us today, we say thank you. And Lord, we, we, we commit our, our lives into your hands. We pray that, O oh Lord, that you will continue, Father, to guide us. Those things that, O oh my Father, we have desired in our hearts. I know there are, there are many things that we are crying for. There are so many things that, oh my Father, sometimes we even do not know how to express ourselves concerning those needs that of, uh, surround us. But Lord, this morning I bring these needs to you, that Lord, you will hear us, oh my Father, and you will answer us, oh God. Any person, oh my Father, who has been crying, any person that has been going to you, oh my Father, concerning a situation, concerning something in their lives, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that this morning, oh God, Things are going to be different, oh Lord, in that life. Things are going to be different, oh my Father, in that family, in the name of Jesus. It is going to be different, oh my Father, in the life of that child. It is going to be different, oh God, even as we get into the new year, oh Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that, oh my Lord, there will be a change and we shall be able to look and see, oh my Father, and testify of your goodness, oh God. So, Father, I thank you and I bless your name. I know that, oh God, because you told us that we can come to you and we can ask whatever we, we wish, oh my Father, whatever we want in the name of Jesus. And Lord, you are going to do it for us. And Lord, how I pray in the name of Jesus that those needs, those desires, those things, oh my Father, in accordance to your will, Father, I pray that, oh Lord, we shall receive. And any kind of resistance, anything that has been resisting, oh my Father, our blessings, that we are not able to penetrate, oh my Father, into those places, the resistance, oh God, that has been caused by sin, that has been caused by anything that is around us, oh my Father, ignorance, lack of knowledge, oh God. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that there will be nothing that is going to hinder us, oh Lord, from accessing, oh my Father, your blessings in our, for our lives. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because even in your word, oh my Father, in the book of Romans says that there's nothing that can separate us from your love, oh God. And therefore, even this, this morning, how I pray in the name of Jesus that nothing, oh my Father, will take us away and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and make us cold, that we are not able to express our love for you again. I pray that, Lord, you may help us, that we will, we will be strong and we will walk, oh my Father, with our heads up, knowing that the Lord Jesus is with us and is walking with us and is there to encourage us. So, Father, I bless your name for your word, oh my God, this morning. And I bless your name because we are able to rejoice, we are able to give thanks, we are able to pray in every circumstance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh, have a wonderful day. Just as the book of uh, Thessalonians has told us, just keep on giving thanks, keep on praying. Do not give up, do not be tired, and God will bless you. See you next day. Sina chaku kurudi, shia epon, kwa fadili sako, maishani mwangu, umefanya ya niyo, makubwa. Wewe ni mwema Asante 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 Kwa fadili sako Asante Asante Bwana Asante Kwa fadili Asante, Bwana, Asante, Bwana, Asante, Kwa 
Thank you, Jesus. 